Now, in this that we are just going to start with is principles of design means all these elements of art that we had learned so far how are these going to be used okay this is not a kind of thumb rule nothing like it's nothing like thumb rule or a kind of uh, very uh, dictionary kind but it is a guiding aspect okay that will help you to use these elements of art hmm, in a justifiable way or in, a, in a, just with a justice so that the design as a whole the art piece as a whole look good ah, everybody can appreciate it okay it's nice in one go okay but still everybody we cannot say everybody everybody's eyes are different but as a whole we can say this particular art form or art is good so these principles of design will help us in doing that okay uh, human being as a whole you can say they are motivated uh, they get motivation from nature to create beautiful things okay they always used to see nature look at nature to find out beauties of nature in terms of color in terms of objects everything okay now color can you imagine a beautiful flower has got such beautiful colors combined together to make it so appealing have you seen any flower in nature which is not beautiful have you seen huh? they may be very dark they may be very light but still many colors are combined together the composition is so beautiful you see a bird the color of a bird no it is sometimes some colors are vibrant but still to contradict that or to make it soften or to look it more make it look more beautiful there is some other colors in which you see as a whole is very nice isn't it like kingfisher kingfisher is such a uh, it's a color no it's a beautiful bird have you seen kingfisher masruka so it has got certain vibrant colors in it and then it also has got some subdued colors that make the whole thing look good in a way another way if you see that is about color otherwise if you see a woodpecker it is a kind of oblong thing have you seen a very small small uh, bird with a big pick that way design in design way from the design point of view it is not so beautiful but functionally it has got some other beauties okay because it has to come directly to the ground from top and then pick up some fish that is functional aspect of his big fish okay so these are design aspects these are something that people used to copy huh, artists used to see these and they used to copy so when you see uh, flower then you see the scenery scenery okay landscape could you understand landscape no if you see uh, from a distance the hill looks beautiful the colors sub get subdued light color no hill to the mountain it seems to be light then closer things are darker darker isn't it then you see a beautiful river flowing through it these are sceneries that people used to copy in their paintings all that means in short all the things that a human being make are copy of the nature isn't it then before what happened people used to just use colors okay then some kind of sizzles and all that to create uh, artifacts like a statue they will make some and many things they used to make but with the advent of science and technology all these they have started developing certain technologies that started helping them in making these things much beautiful okay but in all these, in all these, how you are going to make it, how, what are the things that is going to help you? Because human being, imagination is so diverse that has to be controlled by something, no? So these principles used to help control and use the things in a, in a good way, okay? Has been divided into painting, sculpture, architecture, home planning, handicrafts and so on. These are different aspects of design creation okay where home planning also you'll find some designs in handicrafts also you'll find designs architecture also you'll find designs 
so where else painting sculpture everywhere you'll find designs right now. then as we have already seen that it has been categorized into two things as element of art and principle of design isn't it so element of art are the components that principles of design will help us to use these components in a good way that you have understood no problem with that then uh, means they give us the guidance okay so as i have said principles of design are not formulas formula no hai okay but uh, but to help in determining why an object is artistically good or bad okay these are not formulas but help us to determine why an object is good or bad no then understood go through the slide so it comprises of five different things like proportion balance rhythm harmony and emphasis okay so these five things will help us to help us to what to find out something beautiful okay to search for something beautiful to create something beautiful Anna, what are the things? What are three important things that I have uh, talked about in the first class, second class also? All these we do for what? Huh? Self satisfaction, one thing. Otherwise, beauty. Okay. Then expressiveness. Then functionalism. Okay. These things, three things, has to be there. Okay, it has to be some as uh, well. Some things like a art piece cannot have a function as a whole, but it will be beauty. It has to be. Ha it has to have some beauty in it, beauty aspect. Then it has to have expressiveness. Means it has to express itself. Okay, and if it is related to function, it has to be functional. Why not functional or functionalism? Uh, so these are the main objective of creating beautiful things. What are those three objectives? Say now. Loud, I cannot hear. Beauty, expressiveness, functionalism. Okay. Now, one by one, we'll just go through it. Proportion. First one is proportion so proportion when we say proportion just simply a, a girl is there when you look at her first you look at her face isn't it when it comes to proportion a very simple example I'm telling you when a girl is there and first of all you look at her face isn't it face so, then you'll say okay her nose is longer than her face You'll say or not? Ba shorter than her face. What is that? Ba eyes are smaller than her face. Kovan no kwa. That is proportion. Then a person is there. You will see if it is, she is tall or short. When you are asked to define, otherwise every now and then we will, will never define a person, isn't it? But when it is comes in that terms, then what will happen is the her legs are taller, means longer. Isn't it? Every proportion compared to her body or shorter or his, her, anything. So this is what is proportion is all about. No? Proportional in terms of size, in terms of, it is not that you will measure it with scale, but your eyes will say something. Right? Eyes will say it is not about the real scale that will measure and say this much, this, that. We never measure, do we? Sometimes we say proportionally same, means there is some relationship between those objects that we say that they are okay. Or not? Do we measure? We don't measure. No? But our visually we used to say so. Our eyes will say so. And when our eyes sees, then we used to just, our brain will say, yes, it is okay. Proportionally it is nice. Or not? Uh, so when we say proportion means it is comparison of dimension 
or distribution of forms and is the relationship in scale between one element and another or between a whole object and one of its part. Now when we say one element with another when we compare the face now nose comparing with the face one element with the other but legs compared with the whole body and right? sometimes we also compare the whole object in relation to other okay then this proportion is sometimes called as law of relationship okay means relationship in terms of dimensions okay proportion is divided into three things proportion in terms of scale proportion in terms of unity proportion in time terms of dominance okay so we'll talk about scale now see now this is a figure where you see bad proportion or proportion supposing when you have this rectangle in a midway or this triangle or a square halfway that means equal divisions are created okay half means half of color two colors are being divided equally so we say it is okay it is very oh, it's nothing so artistic about it okay nothing so artistic you made it half half yellow half very there is no creativity is okay like so we cannot say that artistically it is good proportion understood on the other hand just see the next figure here another the same rectangle the same figures are there and here colors are made like this here also there is a lack of harmony and i'll i'll tell you now this is and this is a house in this house what you find is this is a facet is coming out right now where you by seeing this house what you will compare is roof with the pillars ha huh. they could have given two pillars that they, but there are four pillars then we'll compare the windows doors and all that so there also proportion that proportion term will act okay understood bujhe bhasha na so unity when we say unity unity <coughs> proportion in terms of unity when we say the concept of unity describes the relationship between the individual parts and the whole of a composition okay like example i had given a human figure human body okay now when you say this human body it could be a live body it could be a sculpture okay in a sculpture when you see sometimes we find no so legs were not properly made or eyes or nose were not properly made right that is unity right as a whole so proportion in terms of unity okay here it, it investigates the aspects of a given design that are necessary to tie the different composition parts together to give it a sense of wholeness or to break it apart and give it a sense of variety if you break it that should give us a sense of variety hmm and if you unite it it has to give us a sense of unity mane eka lage bhal lagise bhal laga looking good pleasing to us okay then dominance dominance relates to varying degrees of emphasis in a design it determines the visual weight of a composition establishes space and perspective and often resolves where the center of emphasis should be located when looking at a design there are three stages of dominance each relating to the visual weight of a particular object within a composition now so when dominance is there every now and then you will find in a de design something is there that adds uh, that gives weight or becomes a center of attraction okay it should be in such a place that it does not look out of place in the design okay that has to be proportionally placed so as to create some feeling of dominance dominance mane ki uthia mane stronger stronger okay because we are giving emphasis into that so it has to be stronger so that we cannot keep here and there the placement should be such that it gives us a feeling of emphasis ha huh. then balance it is an equilibrium that results from looking at images and judging them as per ideas of physical structure 
ah, it gives us a balance man i just see now this is a room where if you see like this this side we have got four four chairs and that side is five from here if we see this seems to be heavier this side seems to be heavier visually we don't have to weigh it physically but visually this side seems to be heavier okay that is balance now see balance means this type of seesaw that they have just shown in it what you find is if you keep something big here in the first picture if you see and the second one you see smaller that object no doubt it falls because of its weight but we also feel that there is some weight here this side because the objects are small and big okay in the other way, other one though two objects are there but voluminously two objects are same though three objects combine together to make the weights is equal to the other one hai na voluminously by seeing we feel that two are same hai na then the third one is see this is a seesaw balance okay here the bigger object is placed closer to the central point making the balance equilibrium this uh, seesaw in a one uh, single like it's balancing it hai na ene ke balance korbo pare this is physical balance that we apply in art forms okay one way is like this not balance means this one big object putting one side other one smaller object like this arrangement then secondly we can also balance by giving bigger object and then smaller objects combined together to weigh this equally the third one is the big objects can be closer to the center and the smaller object in the smaller place another is multiple small objects still multiple smaller and more smaller objects in one side and the other bigger one on the other side then these smaller smaller objects combined together will also outweigh mane beshi hoy jabo weight to that way one the third one is too many things bigger one and the smaller one put in the center that okay and sometimes imbalance can be created by only small thing but so decoration is done and with a very small thing what will happen that imbalance is created okay you feel that this what will this small thing do but that creates visually imbalance visual imbalance so then balance in an art can be uh, see now this is a table this uh, yes could you see this picture no so here what we can derive from this picture is so many things are put together there is if you if you so to see balance you have to cut it in a middle whether this particular thing is balanced or not we have to cut it in middle and see same weights are there in both the sides like the uh second one suppose weights are similar but here what is uh, there is objects are different no but balance is created in it is a formal balance it's a formal balance on the other hand these are informal balances what you see here is if you cut see the pillows are same two sides if you cut the picture in the middle to see whether this is in a balanced form or not pictures are same or isn't it in one picture you'll find big circles the other one is there though these two pictures are not similar but uh but weight wise they made it look similar yet here you have big big circles there more of smaller circles are put to make it a balance and right? then you come down then pillows are kept on either side these objects are there see now in this is such a thing see, identical things cannot be placed in both the stools no here there is a calendar kind of thing here they cannot keep keep another calendar so they are balancing it with the smaller objects okay then it is a example of balance understood 
so balance in art can be explained as simply as balance in weights the only difference is that it is not a question of how much the object weights but how much attention it attracts attention attracting also is another aspect ha jodi bahut dunia bostu eta hoy it will create more attention the other one if it is not beautiful will not create attention so you'll see more of that less of it ha na then also imbalance is created okay so so suppose in this picture those two frames are there no had the other one been a beautiful much different or much beautiful then we would have seen on seen our kept our eyes on that only but now since both of these things are similar type although a bit different different both of it creates interest ha na so the only difference is that it is not a question of how much the object weights but how much attention it attracts na balance is the arrangement of the object in a given design as it relates to their visual weight symmetrical asymmetrical and radial within a composition balance usually comes in three forms when we say balance it comes in three forms symmetrical asymmetrical and what radial okay now this is symmetrical balance the picture that you are seeing here is a symmetrical balance symmetrical also we call as formal balance formal or ha huh? there is no different set of rules but to create formal balance no creativity is required as such okay in creating formal balance you have two types of objects of same weights you put it is all fine but creativity wise you don't have to have so much effort in creating something different it's all formal that means means formal or asymmetrical balance is quite ha uh, uh, what are the characteristics is quite dignified and gives a sense of precision simple okay it is also dignified and is balance is quite is quite right the symmetrical balance occurs when the weight of a composition is evenly distributed around a central vertical or horizontal axis under normal sub, uh, circumstances we assume identical forms on both sides of the axis when symmetry occurs with similar forms it is called symmetrical balance or formal balance now another example is identical lamps on either side of a bed this is there two uh, two beds uh, two lamp sheds are there or not balanced on the other hand this bed tables are side tables are there that is there now when you divide as i have said two side of the division should have same things similar things okay that is formal so there is no uh, there is no creativity in it you just put the things it is all done ha na then asymmetrical balance or informal balance is another type here uh, objects in a composition do not attract the same amount of attention and they must be placed at different distances from the center it is not that you have to put one object here one object there now all these types of balances are these these are asymmetrical balances creation of uh, art uh, interiors thinking of this aspect okay so here uh, and then they must be placed at different distances from the center so asymmetrical balance occurs when the weight of a composition is not evenly distributed around the central axis it involves the arranging of objects of differing sizes in a composition such as that of informal or occult uh, asymmetrical balance is also known as balance only example grouping of a large size picture with a several smaller size shape of pictures now here supposing in a room you have got a big picture here in one wall okay and then you have to balance with another thing and the other side of the wall the other way you can put number of smaller pictures to make a balance okay so what type of smaller objects you'll put there it's not that since it is a rectangular big picture that side you cannot bring round or oval pictures that has to be smaller rectangular or uh, square sized pictures that will fill up the same size occupy the same size in either in a in either side of the central axis okay 
then radial balance now the other one is what radial balance so you tell me what are the three different balances and radial symmetrical is also called as formal and asymmetrical is also called as informal and the third one is radial here is just a simple example is just a flower when you see a flower the flower petals are radial radial or not central axis is there and all the petals are radiated so that is a radial impression okay when it comes to uh, then again the spokes of a wheel group of chairs around a circular dining table these are all radial okay now supposing you have got a circular dining table in and around that you are keeping smaller chairs so it is a radial arrangement ah huh. the motifs arranged exorbitantly in a circular fashion these are all radial so but still there has to be some balance into it so greek used to in term when we say proportion greek used to follow a kind of rule greeks greeks mane jana ne ha huh? those who created made ki pyramids ha huh? they are very expert in making uh, creating proportions so they used to follow certain thumb rules that they call as oblong okay oblong etu ki hoy 2 is to 3 ratio eta maintain kore or 3 is to 5 ha huh? and when it comes to objects they used to have it as 5 is to 7 is to 11 means when you make a rectangle to create beautiful things sometimes means now picture is there they will make a picture of this type where width will be two size and this size will three two is to three they used to follow this or else three is to five this side is this side is three and this side is will be five and a five 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 fifteen if i have a twenty five cm by inch or whatever horu was to allow down was to allow if the object is small or the object is big they will follow these these ratios to make the object look appealing they have this as a thumb rule okay means if it is 2 feet this side they will make 3 feet this side understood if it is 3 feet this side and they will make it 5 feet that, that way had this been not like that if it is like this suppose 1 feet 1 is to 3 to them it is not good proportion uh, proportion wise is not good so they used to have this as a proportion then again had it been a uh, object volume mana in ko object three dimensional object what they will do is length wise it will be 11 ha huh. depth is 5 and height is 7 this ratio they will maintain in three dimensional objects of beauty ha huh? sab object ko tendi etu etu ki koy oblong or or ki hmm or a uh, concept of good proportion for the greeks 